Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Nash, owner of Nash's Wallet. And if it's your first time here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. It has been a little bit of time since I've been on this side of town and I've honestly missed creating content, making videos, talking to you guys, sharing about finances and all that in between. So with that being said, by the title of this video, I will be sharing why I no longer use cash envelopes. And that is such a weird statement to say because I never really thought that I would be at this point, but here we are. So let's hop right into it. Then I introduce to you my new wallet. It's so weird that this is literally my wallet when I've been using cash envelope wallets with ring binders inside and separating everything in categories and now this is literally all I need. When I started off using cash envelopes, it was never meant to be a indefinite system. I started it because I visually needed to see me paying for items, especially within my everyday spending. So when I was going to going out to eat or doing some kind of entertainment like bowling or roller skating or going to the movies, um, when I'm putting gas, when I'm going to the grocery store, those kind of everyday variable spending, I needed to see because that's where I was having a lot of trouble. Having my debit card, I would just swipe, swipe, swipe and kind of pay the price for it later because once my bills would come up and that sort of thing, I would literally have like no money. So with that, I came across the cash envelope system through the beautiful world of YouTube and I fell in love with it because it gave me a structure so that I can really see what areas I needed to put some limits on and what areas I needed to work on and overall just kind of help me break up my money because before that point I didn't know how to budget I just knew that certain days certain bills needed to come out and before my way of budgeting was I would make sure that the paycheck before that bill came out I would just dedicate to whatever whatever bill was coming out because I honestly wasn't making a lot of money and through cash envelopes it would allow me to budget in one form so i started off and i've been doing it for honestly a long time for over two years i was just kind of dividing up my everyday spending into envelopes and that also brought about nash's wallet which is how i started to provide and make custom personalized envelopes for you guys to purchase it worked for a really long time I did not mind at all sometimes when I would have to use my debit card and then I kind of replenish the money so it was a lot of like back and forth to the bank but I didn't mind because it was helping me stay on budget but within the last since I've been away these last like two months I've noticed it's been an annoyance it's been very annoying having to I would try to avoid going to the bank as much as possible so all of these little transfers and replenishing and using my cushion and then having to pay the cushion back like all of that for my variable spending which is not something i wanted to do anymore with that i decided to transition over to debit card spending it was honestly a little scary at first the thought of doing it just because that's where i was in the beginning when i first started and it was a disaster but I'm also reminding myself that I've learned and I've grown throughout this budget journey that I know I'm not going to make those same errors. And if for some reason I do slip up, I know that there's methods I've used in the past that will work and I can just go right back to using cash. No problem. One of the things that I'm doing to set myself up for success now that I'm doing debit card spending is that I've accumulated multiple accounts. And what I mean by that is before I only had one checking account that's where all my money would come in from my income and where all of my expenses and all of my spending would come out of. So there wasn't really any boundaries on what I could and couldn't spend because all of the money was together. And over these last two and a half years, I've opened up some savings accounts, I've opened up 
some checking accounts and now I have things separated. So where my income comes in and where I receive my paychecks is just meant for bills. So the money comes in and from there I'll allocate whatever is meant to go to bills and then transfer and withdraw whatever is meant for my other accounts and my other categories. So in my second checkings account is where I'll be doing my debit card spending and that's where it's gonna hold my gas, my eating out, my groceries, my my good times, entertainment um, category, and I have a cushion in there just in case. And that has replaced all of the envelopes that I would have carried in my wallet like I used to over the last couple years. And now the most important thing that I have to make sure that I keep doing consistently is tracking all of my spending. The good thing about now that I'm going to debit card spending is that there's no way that I'll be able to miss a transaction or be missing money because I'll be able to see each line item as the money comes out from the account and I'll be able to track everything. Yes, now it's a lump sum, so I have to be mindful that there are categories within that full amount, but I feel like I have disciplined myself enough to understand that this is the amount that I have allowed myself for the month and that's the amount that I should be using. And I am really excited to try out this challenge. It's a challenge for me, even though for a lot of people like the rest of the world that doesn't use cash, it's the norm for them. But for me, it's definitely a challenge and I feel like I'm ready. The reason why I mentioned the current state of where I'm in is because I feel like not too many people speak on what happens when one grows out of the cash envelope phase. There are some people that use cash envelopes and it just works for them and there is no need to try another system or there's no desire to try something else because what they're currently using is working and that's awesome. But there's also other people that without even knowing, they grow to desire to go back to what it was before cash envelopes and try to challenge themselves to see if all of the discipline and overall growth and knowledge that they've obtained throughout their journey is enough for them to be able to not use cash in their everyday life. And I even realized that I was growing that desire over the last couple months because I honestly thought when I got into it that I would be using cash forever or for as long as I thought forever was because it was my preferred way of spending my money because I was able to see it, I was able to touch it, I was able to physically pay for things and it was my preference and now it's more of like my second option. If I could pay with my card, I'd rather pay with my card versus paying with cash. But overall, the mentality behind each purchase is different. My relationship with money is different and it's grown and it's gotten so much better and it's changed so much. And I feel like it's okay to grow out of the cash envelope phase. And I feel like it's something that is not spoken of enough, but I was so hesitant to even share it on social media because for one, Nash's wallet was started off on cash envelope, so it doesn't click for me to no longer be using cash envelopes. But honestly, personal finance is so personal and at the end of the day, that is the biggest takeaway that I want for everyone to be able to take in any of these videos is to be able to watch my own personal journey and just pick and choose what they feel like could apply to their life and to their finances. And that's what makes it so unique and so personal. And I feel like I've graduated from cash envelopes and I feel very proud of myself. I am a little bit nervous because I haven't done this in so many years that I don't know if it's going to be big disaster but the fact that I feel like I'm at this point where I'm ready and I'm ready to attempt it is celebration in itself. I just wanted to put a video together to express why and why I feel like it's okay to kind of alter the system for what works best for you because cash envelopes is not the only way to budget. There's so many other systems, there's so many other techniques, there's so many other ways to be able to manage finances 
that I feel like that needs to be spoken about more versus varying popular way of cash envelopes. But with that being said, I am still the biggest fan for cash envelopes because it worked for me. I love the personalization aspect to it. I love the look of it. I love the actual purpose behind it. And who knows, maybe I'll go back to it just for the heck of it. But with that being said, I do still have sinking funds in cash in my personalized envelopes because that's something that I will hold on to for as long as I can. But I do still get that cash envelope feeling through those envelopes. But on everyday use, we have upgraded to debit card spending and I'm so excited. But I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah.